Facebook. What is better, Fall Guys or Stumble Guys? Now that they're both free to play, why would someone play Stumble Guys when Fall Guys, the original game, is free? Well, today we're going to be talking about it, and we're going to compare the two, and you'll see gameplay from both and the pros and cons of each game. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so let's start out with Fall Guys. Fall Guys obviously came before Stumble Guys, so let's get that out of the way. But if you had Fall Guys before it went free to play, you get a Legacy Pack, which comes with everything you see on screen right now. Um, these three skins, the Season Pass, and this title. So they do compensate you for paying that money um, way back when you bought the game. Um, you also get some tokens to spend, which is also really nice. The next thing I want to talk about with Fall Guys is that it is cross-platform. It's on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, but it is not on mobile. Going on to the next thing with Fall Guys is the Season Pass. Um, with Fall Guys originally, there was a Season Pass, but they have implemented way more stuff than before, and there is a lot of free content to be had here. Um, there is the paid version, of course, but as you can see on the screen, um, there are quite a few things if you just play and you don't want to spend money. Um, so that is very, very nice. Um, what I will say is when you go into the shop for this game, that's when things kind of take a turn. Uh, it gets pretty pricey the more you want to spend. Um, and there are quite a few cool collaborations, like obviously Among Us here, and uh, different like styles, whereas Stumble Guys is kind of more on the brand-free, like less um, collaborative uh, efforts. Um, so that's one point towards Fall Guys. I do think there are going to be more collaborations with uh, Fall Guys because it is a first party uh, platformer and honestly um, Fall Guys does look way better than Stumble Guys. I think we can all agree on that. Um, one thing that Stumble Guys has over Fall Guys is that Fall Guys does not have loot boxes. So I don't know if you are personally interested in spinning and the whole opening crates thing but that's one of the things that like gives me excitement. Whereas if I just see this, I don't know, football dude, I'm not gonna necessarily get excited because I know I'm guaranteed this. Um, I understand there's that like gambling aspect, so they probably don't want to indulge in that thing. But as you can see, they get very, very pricey. So if you're trying to uh, spend a lot of money, Fall Guys is definitely the way to go. Um, because as you can see, a skin of a decent caliber is going to be around five dollars. Um, so kind of kind of OK, I guess, for a free game. But it does add up, obviously, as you go on. Um, we're going to flip through everything here. Uh, and yeah, next thing I want to talk about is the challenges. Um, it does offer a lot of free uh, opportunities to earn tokens. But uh, at the end of the day, it is way quicker to just buy them with real money. Um, the other thing that Stumble Guys does not have is as many theatrics or emotes that um, Fall Guys does. The other thing is the um, sound effects in Fall Guys is way better than Stumble Guys. People might disagree on that, but I think the quality and the more in depth uh, you go, uh, Fall Guys is way more polished than Stumble Guys is, and I don't think anyone's going to argue against that. The next thing I want to talk about is different game modes. You can play solos, you can play squads, you can play duos, you can play different uh, events that are going on throughout the week, and then you have access to custom lobbies. Um, if you try to host, you are able to create up to 60 person lobbies, but it takes forever to try to get 60 people to join. Um, whether that's because connectivity issues or just server issue in general, Stumble Guys is way quicker and way easier to host a lobby. And that is going to be one of the main points of why I think Stumble Guys still is relevant, even though Fall Guys is free to play now. With Stumble Guys, the games take like 10 minutes max. With Fall Guys, you could look up to like 
45 minutes per game. Although Fall Guys may seem laid back and cartoony and not very tryhard, I find that Fall Guys is more sweaty than Stumble Guys is. Not only are the games longer, but I feel like more people are trying to win and really um, putting in that extra effort not to have fun, but to just purely get the crown. Um, as opposed to in Stumble Guys, people are on the go and just trying to have fun for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then moving on to the next mobile game or next lobby of Stumble Guys. Um, so in my opinion, Stumble Guys is more fun because it's more fast paced, but Fall Guys is a better experience if you're playing from home and you're playing with friends and you're trying to have that long experience where it's quality and you're having fun with your friends and it's like you're trying to win together as a team. Whereas with Stumble Guys, it's like this quick five minute thing. And if you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. Uh, either way, you have a pretty good time with that game. So uh, with that being said, let's hop over to Stumble Guys and show you the main differences from Fall Guys. Okay, so we are here with Stumble Guys. As I just mentioned, the pay to win emotes are very, very annoying, but they're also very fun. Um, so as you can see, the tier 30 was to get the kick animation. The kick animation allows you pretty much to kick the person in front of you. So if you are behind your opponent, you can then kick them and therefore move in front of them. There's also the hug emote, which was from last season, where you basically can tsunami grab your opponent and push them into a laser or off the bridge or whatever. Um, what I will say is this does make the games really fun, but it's also very annoying if you can't afford to pay for the emote. Um, I will say it is very, very affordable to buy the premium battle pass. Um, it's a matter of, I think, like $10. There's a starter pack. Um, and to be honest, I think it's worth it. But uh, I'll leave that up to you. Um, as you can see, the price is very here. And there are things like free spins. Um, and it does give you satisfaction of not knowing what you're going to get. And potentially getting something really cool. Like five tokens. Okay, we got the punk rock dude. Um... And eventually, after your free spins, they do add up and you get better and better skins. Um, what I will say, though, is the customization is not as good as in Fall Guys. Um, but it's kind of what you are looking for. If you're trying to get more variety, definitely Fall Guys. But if you're trying to get the Cray animation, like, I wouldn't say gambling, but like the mystery item. You never know what you're going to get kind of aspect. Um, like a mobile game like Clash Royale or whatever. Um you definitely are going to want to go with Stumble Guys. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is that Stumble Guys is on PC and it's on mobile, and they are cross-platform. So for PC players, you are able to host up to 32 lobbies, um, and they can join via a room code, and it's very, very quick and easy to join. If you are on a different server, all you got to do is change what server you're playing on, and there is a pretty noticeable ping difference but it's still playable um whereas with fall guys the cross region is not as great um but i'll leave that up to you guys to determine what you value the most um what i will say is that the emotes are not as vast and impressive as fall guys because there isn't very much like voice lines or sound effects so even though the animations themselves are pretty cool there isn't really any variation with any of the items like there's no like singing or dancing or anything like that um so fall guys definitely takes the cake there um so like the push-up doesn't have anything special the cry doesn't have anything special like the backflip it all sounds the same um, one thing I will say is the names are very funny in this game. Like, uh, for example, this guy's name is Lionel Pessy. We got quarterback, uh, obviously Tom Brady. We got a chicken named Chicken. Um, just stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty dope. Uh, I will say that it is kind of, um, very easy to get over, uh, 
engaged with the game and what i mean by that is once you buy like the starter pack and start spinning it does give you that dopamine of oh i can get one of these special skins um and i will be transparent i spent probably around a hundred dollars on this account um now you might be thinking oh you wasted all your money but i made all of it back in re uh, ad revenue and through subs and all the things that i've done on twitch and youtube I um, mean, TikTok. So don't be too surprised that I've spent so much money. And even with spending like $100 on this account, I still do not have every skin. So just keep that in mind that they do kind of rig it so that you don't get the best ones. And um, if you spin one of the free spins, it's going to show that you're very close to um, one of the better ones. So it gets you to keep spinning. Um, the one unique thing about stumble guys is that there are tournaments where uh i did say there isn't as much try hard in stumble guys but i mean that in public lobbies if you join one of these tournaments they are the sweatiest thing you will ever experience um there are emote and non-emotes uh tournaments so that there kind of is a balance but if you go into a public lobby you better know that the people that win are more often than not using those emotes to get an advantage in my opinion stumble guys is better for streamers because you can play with anybody and what i mean by that is if you're watching this video you definitely have a way to play stumble guys everyone has a phone and if you don't want to play on your phone chances are you can get it on your laptop or your computer and play alongside whereas with fall guys not everyone has a console or computer so stumble guys is more readily available to the public audience um which is why i've had success with it on tiktok because every single person that has tiktok has a phone and everyone that has a phone can get stumble guys um, so that's something that if Fall Guys had a free app for the phone, then Stumble Guys would be irrelevant. Um, but again, the graphics aren't as good for this game. The emotes aren't as good for this game, but it is fun as heck. That being said, I think overall Fall Guys is a better game, but Stumble Guys is more fun. And I will show you gameplay right now of Fall Guys first, and then we will go into Stumble Guys right after. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and let's see if we can get a dub. Here we go. Okay, so already, um, the time that it took for me to load in, I just timed it, was three minutes to find a game in Fall Guys. Now, is that very long? Not really, but if you're trying to play quick and get in and out of lobbies, that is quite a long time to wait. And for a game like Fall Guys, uh that is kind of a lot to expect if that's for like a gta or a cod lobby that would be understandable but if you're trying to play a fun party game like fall guys you would expect a game to get in in like two seconds i would i would think anyway um but as you can see i do have drip from when i used to play the game um we're rocking with the flame pants and the ninja top Ooh, unlucky I didn't get the uh, special uh, skins way back when. I remember there was a couple like portal skins that they had that I really wanted. Ooh, okay, we'll take that. Um, but I never got around to winning that many games. I think at most I won like maybe 10 crowns way back when. So I didn't get too into Fall Guys, um, but I definitely wasn't terrible or anything. Um, I will say... It does get harder once you get past like the third round. Where, ooh, whereas Stumble Guys, from round one, everyone is like on the same level playing field and everyone's kind of ready to go and the loading times doesn't take that long. So there really isn't too many AFK people. Whereas here, you can see there are a lot of people in the back. Um, but there are 42 people that qualify and we will go on to the next one. Okay, we are playing Ski Fall. I've never played this game. Um, that's another thing. Stumble Guys gets very repetitive very quick. There is more variation within Fall Guys. But again, the time that it's taking to get into this game was literally another minute. So in that amount of time, you could have been done with pretty much a halfway uh, lobby of uh, Stumble Guys. So um, it's all about what you're looking for. 
I will say this does feel smoother and it's obviously more visually appealing. Um, the mechanics are definitely different. Ooh. And I'm not sure what I'm doing, to be honest. I guess I got to go through the hoops, I'm imagining. Uh, we'll take that, I guess. Uh, do I want to be in the small one? N oh, so I need 15 points. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I think we're going to qualify. Uh, as long as we get this dude right here. Oh, wait. Can you go back in it? Oh my goodness. Please. Please! This game's trolling me. Oh no. Wait, no one's qualified yet. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Right? Wait. Oh, the double? Imagine. Okay. No one's qualified yet, so I'm not too worried, but someone just qualified. So we should probably... Oh my goodness. Please. I, I get in here, right? Thank you. All right, cool. Um, That was very sketch, but... Uh, we did qualify. Uh, not a huge fan of that game, not gonna lie. Um, it wasn't terrible, but it also didn't too make too much sense. Like, how are you supposed to make it up into the gold? Like, I guess you can bounce off of it, but... Interesting. I'm not too sure. Okay. Um, these guys are playing terribly, <laughs> I will say. Uh, but I'm gonna fast forward this and we'll go on to the next show. All right, we are here in the next round. Um, I have not played this mode either, but I imagine you just don't want to fall off. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't know why everyone's running. Uh, I'm going to try to take this slow, I think. It's pro Wait. Uh, I think we're fine, right? Or not? Oh, you have to run from the fan. Oh... See, I didn't read the instructions, um, but overall, I think we did pretty well. Um, I'm going to call it for gameplay for this, and let's hop over to Stumble, guys. Okay, so we are here with Stumble, guys. As soon as you press the play button, you instantly find a lobby, and then it picks a random map for you to start on. Um, what I will say is that it does take a little bit to find this first map, but as soon as you get a full lobby, you are ready to go and you'll be done in a matter of like 5-10 minutes. So already we have our first map. We're playing on Icy Heights, so let's see how we do. Um, it looks like we have a pretty try-hard lobby here. Uh, not too many bots. Um, we're going to try to go on the side, which we do manage to get there. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of speedy. Because everyone playing this game doesn't really take it too seriously. Um, I do have the emotes that are quote-unquote pay to win, which give you a little bit of a speed boost. Like that, I kick the dude behind me. Um, so now we get to take first place. And oh my goodness, I thought I choked the bag there. Uh, but we qualified. And as you can see, the lobby moves pretty quick. Um, we're already pretty much done with the first round. And we're going to move on to the second round here in a second. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorite ones. This is Super Slide. Um, there is a lot of speed running that happens on this level. Um, there's a lot of different skips. Um, that is not one of them. I mean, I probably could have done something with that. But unfortunately, we are pretty far behind now. Um, so I need to dive here. And then if we're going to manage to get this win, we're going to have to go over the wall here. And then do this skip. Um, and I think we are able to do this one as well. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, no, this is bad. We probably do not qualify here. Um, it's going to be a miracle if we do. Not going to lie. I need a miracle to happen right now. Okay. We already have one person that qualified. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be close. I think we're going to be literally oh are we eighth we might be eighth oh my goodness oh no please no please no am i let's go we take that uh that was a terrible run though um so we're in finals now um there are three rounds it's over with in less than 10 minutes um i don't know how many more times i need to say it but uh let's get on to the final Okay, over and under. Race to the finish. Whoever gets there first. Here we go. 
Jump dive, jump dive, jump dive. We're going to kick. Nice. Oh, no. We're selling. I should have gone to the side. Oh, no. This freaking ninja dude is tryharding. Holy. He's on X Games mode right now. Wait, am I in first? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you mother fricker, dude. No, please. Fall. I need you to fall. I need you to fall. Please. No! Oh, I could have had it. I actually could have had it. Dang, man. I was so close. Um... Unfortunately, we didn't get the dub there, but as you can see, it is very quick, very fun, and very um, laid back. I, I think Fall Guys tries too hard. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but if I'm trying to play a game like this, I just want to have fun, and I don't care about winning at all. It's a matter of literally do i have fun playing the game i don't care about the quality per se it's kind of like crab game in that like it's all thrown together and you just are in a lobby with a bunch of your friends and if it goes well great if it doesn't you don't really care because you only spent five ten minutes on it um so in my opinion huge huge controversial take here stumble guys is more fun than fall guys but fall guys is a better game overall I don't think anyone's going to argue that the graphics are better with Fall Guys, the emotes are better with Fall Guys, the customization's better with Fall Guys, but it is slow. It is painstakingly slow if you fall and you get eliminated and your friends are still in the lobby and then you have to either, one, sit there on your phone twiddling your thumbs, or two, leave them and then go on your own and then they get into a lobby. Oh, but wait, you're in a lobby, so then you have to wait for each other and it's not as great of a time let me know your thoughts down below i know a lot of you are going to be like oh stumble guys isn't good at all but give it a chance literally download it on your phone try it for five minutes if you hate it delete it it's free um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you don't mind checking me out on twitch the link will be down below where i play with viewers um and yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you all later goodbye